So for today, we're going to be looking at the balance of power. If you guys don't know, this is the new exotic that the hunters got. The other one, because I've already done the chest piece, which is right here. Um, yeah, we usually look at what it does. I'll explain further of if I like it or not, or some things about the exotic that I've noticed. Then we look at how it actually looks, how it takes shaders, and then in an example set. And for these exotic specifically um if you guys don't know usually in a new expansion we get new ornaments unfortunately or fortunately however you know however you look at it uh the new exotics also got the new ornaments so for these videos you're also going to look at the new ornaments that all of them got as well and it follows the same format we look at the ornament how it shaders and then an example set for that one as well so that's how we usually do it so that way we can just uh do it all in one fat video so let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think about the exotic itself i would really love to know because i personally don't have the biggest uh, opinion about this armor because it's pretty terrible in my opinion it just a lot of it doesn't make sense but let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all let's just get into it so to start off double down your threaded specter has increased duration and durability and damaging it releases additional thread loops while near your threaded specter you do not appear on radar so on paper the first one's like cool like okay so more it stays there longer it has more durability and then once you damage it it releases additional thread loops. that's cool it's definitely a weak like exotic perk in my opinion and then while you're near your threaded specter you do not appear on radar this one is where i put my foot down and i'm like this is trash absolute doo-doo butter bro because a this is going to be useless in pve um in pve it's still kind of useless now granted some people are going to be like oh well the cool thing is uh people are really like hyper focused on their radar and when you take their radar away or fuck with it they do you tend to kind of go around with their like their heads off as a chicken whatever yes i get that but there also is the chance of like okay i'm not in their radar but i have to be close to my threaded specter which means they'll probably 50 times out of or even probably more that like their radar ping will hit and they'll immediately either look at the the threaded specter or look at me i don't like that chance that's a stupid thing or the other thing is you could definitely be like if there's an opening you could put your third specter on one side and you on the other and then once they're turning to get the other guy you can definitely shoot them but it's just one of those like could you couldn't you have just given me something cooler like maybe double down instead of while near your threaded specter it could have been like while you make a threaded specter you have a not a chance but you have like 30 seconds to make another one um, that would have been way better than this crap. I'm gonna be honest. Um, even as a PvP exotic, I really don't care for it. Um, so I definitely think it's probably the worst of all of the exotics that we got. And I am definitely, yeah. I, actually, I was gonna say like, oh yeah, let's even compared to like all the other exotics that the other classes got. But no, the other classes got some cool like. Mm, Maybe the chest piece for the warlocks. Maybe that one's as bad. But I haven't even seen anything of it. So I'm going to hold my judgment until I start playing with that. So let me know what you guys think about the actual exotic. For the look of it, balance of power also doesn't look good is what I want to say. Like if it shadered well, I think this would be a really cool, cool exotic. But unfortunately, it doesn't shader well. We'll talk about that in a bit, but you guys will probably notice it from just how the base look of it looks because uh, on the left side, the foot has that gold and then on the right side, everything else is gold aside from the foot. Yeah, it's that it's it's that problem where you're just going to notice that one side shaders differently to the other. The all the other thing that's really annoying is the fact that it has a green glow that does not change color. So speaking of just colors in general, let's just talk about how the, the glows and whatnot, right? So my biggest issue with this is just the fact that a the it shaders really terribly like you guys will notice it from all the shaders but like i think the worst one is actually all of them because they, you can just notice it on all of them so yeah you will you'll notice that on one side it has like two pieces that are that color and then the other side are the two pieces that are like so for example um the boots are specifically the foot and on the hip you guys will notice that there's two colors there and those two colors on on the other side i just honestly i just would have liked it if just all of the colors ch um changed into one color because this just is annoying i definitely don't like it um 
and I kind of want to stop talking about it because it's just going to be me saying the same thing. The really big thing, though, is the fact that the glow doesn't change color. Now, I know you guys will say, oh, the knees have that glow. It's not really a glow because um, you guys will notice it from the thing that's inside the hip or not hip, the thigh that actually has the glow, unfortunately. And that's kind of why I get annoyed because not only are the glows on the inner thigh, but it's also on the actual armor piece on the thigh and on the, on the uh, calf like all of that has a green glow that unfortunately just doesn't change color and on some on some of the shaders it looks cool specifically like on ancient wisdom it does look really cool because ancient wisdom has a green glow but the other thing i probably should mention as well is the back of basically like your butt you guys will see that there's like a wiring that wiring also does change color which is pretty cool unfortunately like i said this armor is just pretty terrible when it comes to just anything like that because uh even though it does oh never mind it does not change color it actually is green which is very unfortunate i did not know that i thought it I'm pretty sure it changed color either way unfortunate because now you have another piece that doesn't change color <sighs> yeah let's just go to the example set before i start getting mad so for the example set um i don't like it i'm gonna be honest with you guys i just don't like this or like this exotic in general so that's probably not weird but for the shader in Gambit Jade Stone, specifically because the glow doesn't change color, therefore I'm going for something that has a green glow. For the helmet, Siege Break, Siege Break Mask, I was about to say Siege Breaker. Interlace Grips for the arms, Hormine's Avatar for the uh, for the chest piece, and then Hardened Basilisk for the cloak. So I am using three pieces that have um, seasonal ornaments that are not available. That being said, don't, even, don't think too hard about it. Just make sure you're using pieces that have a glow and it'll look decent. Um, cause I do think Warmind's avatar looks pretty cool with it. So at that point you could probably use more of the Warmind stuff or just literally just use pieces that have a glow or not because the glow is not even that super, like it's not that much on the chat, on the boots. Like the only piece you'll notice it is on the inner thigh. And even then you barely notice it. So you really don't need a glow if you don't want it. But yeah, it's just my big issue is just the fact that like the boots look really terrible. Like, I don't, I don't mean to bash the person who made this cause like, I definitely think it could look could have looked cool if it shadered well if the glows changed color and if the boots weren't so bulgy and i mean that specifically because like the the bottom of the shoes have that bulgy like like that under bulge thing i don't like that and also the plate armor on top of the foot i think could have been a little bit smaller so it's just the fact that the boots also just look kind of goofy um or the feet i should say because the legs look fine like it looks really cool um, I definitely would have taken that inner thigh thing out and probably put it like next to the thigh and probably put two on each side. So that would, have, I don't know. Either way, let me know what you guys think about this. The offensive realism, however, is the opposite of the first look. I think this looks amazing. I think it looks so cool. The only unfortunate part is the fact that one side chain is not, it doesn't shader the same and whoever keeps doing that, why you, <laughs> okay. So yeah, obviously you guys will notice that um the knees not knees the uh the shin have pieces that don't change color so like specifically not change color but it changes shaders differently and the same thing with the thighs from the white to the black it's very unfortunate because shader wise i think it looks cool um it does have a glow but the glow fortunately does change color so if you were wondering like oh does it have a glow yes does it change yes it does change which is really really cool the only important unfortunate part is the fact that it just you're it's gonna shader really terribly because um the like i said the shin and the thigh on the right side don't change don't share the same colors as the ones on the left so that's a big issue that being said it can be a big issue if you don't do if you're not smart about it because specifically let's go to the example set. you guys will notice that i'm using lucid lucid definitely you will notice that there's a difference in colors but at the same time you really have to look at it because if you look at it as a whole it looks fine there's other also shade there's there's other shaders that will just combine it into one whole color specifically dreamy spectrum is a good example and there's other stuff like that so there is it's not as annoying because there is shaders that you can use but the fact that i have to use those shaders is why this is terrible that being said this example set is really really cool so mask of the taking king for the helmet veil tithes grips for the arms hex rot vest for the chest piece and then the dark hollow mantle for the uh, cloak. So 
The only part that's really unfortunate is the fact that if you really like the Hexrot vest, unfortunately it is unattainable because that is also part of a season pass ornament. But again, you can also just use the Dark Hollow chest piece. The Veil Tithe chest piece would also look really cool. Mask of the Taken King chest piece would also look really cool. That being said, the Mask of the Taken King, um, specifically the Taken King set in general, takes shaded really terribly. So you just have to like keep in mind that. That being said, I think this look set looks amazing. I really, really like this set. If I ended up using the Balance of Power, I would most likely use it with the Offensive Realism ornament because it just looks way better. And I like the fact that I make made a Taken not taken but i made a like a hive thing here which looks really cool so overall i'm not the biggest fan of balance of power i think it's the worst exotic we've gotten in the game so far um actually that's not fair because um there's an exotic that yeah there's a bunch of exotics that are useless and this one was doa when it came out at least for me but let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all remember i did make the chess piece exotic which i'll have it up right now again just in case you guys didn't notice but that one is way better um i've changed my opinion on it i like it a lot now that being said i'm still kind of like is dr really that important in this day and age of destiny 2 i don't know um but yeah let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later